I'm kinda wondering how this update will go footage wise or just overall. <laughs> Cause this is the first time we actually check on the channel the Quest Pro like upgrades that the developers have made to the game. Previously Red Matter did it and I didn't have an opportunity to just see what's the actual like you know the difference. But here we are with the Light Brigade. I'm not even sure if it's gonna actually show on the footage. So this might be just me talking and just having my opinions. This whole thing is mostly about the local dimming which I had to do a research on what it is actually. It's like making black levels actually black but I think with some light halo or just you know some glow to make up the difference and I could instantly see the difference when I was looking like you know in the black void that you normally wait for the game to load. In one moment it was like black grayish and then it was like completely black like that was very sudden. And the rendering itself is supported with eye tracking so I mean I'm just glad to have this headset now because it seems like actually developers pay attention. I played it a little bit at home, I don't know what I finished so... We'll see. Away. It didn't put me back to the safe file I was with the upgrades and stuff. That's fine. We can treat this as sort of a playthrough, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, also my settings didn't save. That's interesting because... I know that cloud saves are enabled. So I'll just play a little bit. I don't know if I'll reach the boss, but... Who they are fighting? <laughs> Other. Okay. I also need to change some settings because the reloading was like manual. Here we go. I've beaten the first boss of the game. The game is kind of easier when you actually get to know the mechanics, like it wasn't very challenging. Nice. To compare with Indef, for example. But the game is cool as hell, like I'm very much enjoying it. Too bad. My Quest 2 controllers have an insane drifting problem because they've been just overused. But it is what it is. I can't rush the stages though, like... I know where's what. Just need to collect certain upgrades. We get, of course, this. I'm always into the image. In terms of the rendering, wait, let me see, change my eyes in a couple positions. Yeah, I can notice, like, uh, there are, not pixels because it's pancake lenses, but like, there is a difference. When I don't look, there's like a less 
detailed thing going on. So that could be the end of the video. <laughs> So in terms of terrain and stuff, that could be more detailed. And also there are some like cuts. Yeah, like I'm starting from the beginning, which is kind of confusing. There's also some weird loading sequences in between. I don't know, generating the terrain? Like the game would crash or quit, like, kind of weird. Yes, something is going on with the frames, I don't know. It has like less performance comparing to my quest 2, which is very weird, like. Is the eye tracking taking up that much like performance? What the hell? <laughs> Where is he? I'm not going down to find out. It's confusing. Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> What's going on there? I don't think I'll die, but maybe a decoy would be a good idea. Okay, that's not how it works. <laughs> Jesus, it's like scaring me. <laughs> yeah, that worked perfectly. Wait, that's a person. Aggressive person. It's the first time I see this. What? Abu? What's this? Wow, okay. Maybe this.
So the stage is locked up until we kill everything. I suppose. Oh no, we can leave. Okay. I mean, I'm doing worse for sure. I'm not totally sure about this patch, like, it seems like the performance is worse. And the quality, I mean, not insanely noticeable. of ammo for them. Also, they seem to be hostile no matter what. <laughs> or maybe I'm doing a bad thing? I don't know. feel safer. I don't remember what was so light. Does not look good. <laughs> oh, okay. Do I think this is gonna be the stage with the boss? I'm kind of rushing because it's a video, but. I'm not doing well either in terms of upgrades, so... Yeah, that's the stage. I don't know how many minutes we have left. But I don't want to risk the recording crashing. I'll try. Though with that much HP, it's doubtful. the boss but 
I'm not that confident. <laughs> He's not here? Oh, okay. It had to load. <laughs> I don't know, something's going on with the Pro versus Quest 2 difference. At least I have full HP and some ammo. Everything just started to work, like my toilet and the alarm. It was rough, but the thing is that the performance is just bad and like maybe the rendering is not the one. <laughs> but that was the boss, like I knew his attacks, though it was still not good performance. <laughs> Maybe you'll see in the footage or not, but some stuff are weird. But there's no point in progressing, like that was pretty much the update. While the local dimming is nice, I'll definitely see the difference if I see <laughs> in the distance. It's nice to see actual black levels on this panel, though the rendering itself I feel like I have to disable because it takes up a lot of maybe processing power. There's a lot of frame skips and drops, so I don't think it's just gonna be a good thing for this game in particular. So I'm kind of 50-50 because I remember how well this game was on Quest 2. Maybe it's not that optimal for a highly dynamic action games. Because Red Matter was like a calm experience. I don't know. <laughs> 